a fear of judgment. We are afraid to be judged by a predator. Often we don't say no, often we don't uh, protect our opinion, our interest, because we are afraid that the person will call us names. We are afraid that he will say uh, something that it was a joke and we just did not get it. A person might, might say that we are making a big deal out of nothing. A person might say and accuse us that we were acting like a baby and we should grow up and not to be so sensitive. We don't want to hear those words from the people that we love, so we don't say no. We do not protect our boundaries. Reason number seven is because we are afraid to be judged by our friends and family. So number six was the fear to be judged by a predator. And number seven is a fear to be judged by our friends and family. We don't want to be ashamed of our lives, of our decisions, of our relationships. And often we don't ask for help because we are afraid that once our friends find out the truth about our mother, father, boyfriend, husband, child, they will judge us or they will feel sorry for us. And we don't want to be ashamed of our life, of our family. And I would like to tell you the story, the true story, again from my life about my father. It was... I believe about five or six years ago, uh, my brother was getting married and I flew to Russia and just before the wedding ceremony, we had maybe five minutes, uh, I decided to go to ladies room to make sure that I look beautiful and everything is perfect. So when I was coming out from the, uh, mm, from the restroom, I saw my father. My father was standing at just in front of me and he was looking at me smiling and he told me like wow you look so beautiful you are my queen and when I heard those words I was I was so happy uh my relationship with my father is not it's not even close to the perfect one so I have my issues with my father and when I heard him saying those words it was like a blessing from the sky I was so happy. I was so excited. I was like, wow, that's the best thing that happens to me. And then maybe like two seconds later, I realized that something was not right. And my father was looking not at me. He was looking like through me. And I turned my head back and I saw my half sister. My parents divorced when I was 11. My father remarried and uh, he had a daughter from the second marriage. So my half-sister was standing behind me and I realized that those words were not for me. Those words were for her. And at that moment, although I'm a psychologist, although I've worked on many personal issues before, I was terrified. I felt uh, devastating it's even hard to explain uh, what I felt at that moment and I realized that he was looking through me ignoring me he did not even notice that I was in front of her because it was my brother wedding and it was like just five minutes before the wedding ceremony I was able to somehow to deal with my emotions I did not say anything I did not uh, create drama so basically, I did not tell it to nobody. When I came back to Los Angeles, I told my friend about this. And my friend told me like, oh my God, he should not do that. That is terrible. I can't believe he did that. Oh my God. And instead of giving me emotional support, my friend was telling me, what a terrible person my father was and I knew it already I knew it and I felt bad and before uh, I was looking for emotional support and she was so devastated by this situation so she began to blame him and therefore I began to protect my father 
I created excuses for him right away. I was saying that because of my parents' divorce, I was not as close to my father as my half-sister was to him. But my friend kept saying how terrible my father had behaved. After talking to my friend, I felt even worse than before. I came for emotional support, but I felt even worse. <laughs> And from that day forward, I stopped sharing my deepest feelings with my friends. I found a therapist and I've worked on that situation. Now I can talk about my childhood and I don't feel ashamed. I don't feel embarrassed of my father. And let me know in chat who has something um, similar, who has felt something similar, who knows how terrible it is to hear words like, oh my God, you have an abusing family. Oh my God, you have a terrible father. Oh my God, you have an evil boyfriend. Let me know who had been in, who have been in this type of situations. And often our friends don't know how to give emotional support. I still friends with this girl and she's a wonderful friend. I really like her. And it's not because she is bad or she meant bad things to me. No, uh, because our friends don't know what to say and they don't know how to react. And that's why we need the therapist. That's why we need a professional person who can not only understand our feelings, but also ha can help us to deal with them.